Hello stampers and welcome to Laura's Stamp Pad. Today I'm going to show you two new products that are super, super fabulous. One of them is this amazing background using the Brusho Crystal Color and the other one is getting that perfect swag in all of my banners using the Stamparatus tool. So let's get started. First we're going to create our background so let's bring in some grid paper so that we don't make any messes and a piece of uh, watercolor paper. So now I'm actually just going to take my aqua painter and I've actually been doing a few of these so there might still be a little bit of water left or I mean a little bit of red left on there but that's okay because I'm doing red and I'm just going to add a nice little um, base layer of water over my watercolor paper just to kind of get it like primed and you can see it's already ran out of the red. Now I'm gonna take my Brusho Crystal Color, and this is the Brilliant Red, and of course, don't want, you don't wanna open it, you just wanna um, put a little thumbtack or a little hole in the top, uh, and then I just leave the thumbtack in there all the time, but you could always uh, put a piece of tape over it if you wish. And then I'm just going to tap some color on. You can tap as little or as much as you wish, and you can always leave it like this where it looks all um, sporadic and eclectic and everything or you can go back in with your aqua painter and smush and smear all of that color around to give yourself a nice little watercolor background. You can of course go all the way to the edges or you can always stop in the middle with um, you know just a light little um, back and forth like that. Now I'm just going to set that aside to dry. I've actually done one already so that you guys um, don't have to wait for the drying period. You can see this one I didn't go all the way to the edge either, but this other one that I did, I did go quite, um, quite closer to the edge. So now I'm just going to bring in my Stamparatus, and you know what, I think I need to zoom out just a little bit for you, so let's do that. Okay, so here we have the Stamparatus, and I have the um, piece that I'm going to use, which is already nice and dry, and I'm actually going to use the uh, banner, which is from the In the Trees stamp set. So it's this fabulous stamp set that has that awesome banner. It also has the string of lights, and then um, this banner that you can always use um, right here with that to tie it to the tree, or to tie it to the edge of your project, or something like that. So I'm just going to take my banner, place it on here with whatever angle I wish to use. So I'm gonna go with that angle. And then now I'm just going to close this first little side panel, open it up, and now it's nice and stuck. Maybe let's move this over a little bit. It's nice and stuck to my clear mat so that I can now use it to, um, to stamp with. So now I'm going to take some basic black ink and just ink up that banner. And of course, if you don't get it completely inked up, that's okay, because you can just stamp it again and it's in the perfect spot. It's also okay if you end up getting ink on your um, clear plate, because don't worry, you're not gonna have to worry about it um, getting all over um, by pressing here, because that magnet will hold it in place. So here we go, we stamped our first one. Now I'm just going to take it down one full notch. So I was up here and I skipped this notch and went down another. So I don't know if you wanna call that two notches or one notch. Um, but I skipped one notch and now I'm just going to ink this up and stamp it again. I think for this one I'm just going to do four little banners. So now what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take the stamp off and now I'm going to angle it in the other direction. So I'm just going to angle it going this way and I'm going to pull this back up to that very first notch and pick up our stamp. And of course it did leave a little residue behind, but that's okay because we're gonna stamp this in the exact same spot again anyway. And then notch it down two and stamp again. 
Just wanted to make sure that that magnet wasn't in the way. I could also put a magnet up here as this is kind of flopping forward, but I went ahead and I decided um, that I didn't really need the magnet. Um, it probably would make it a little bit easier so it wasn't flopping up, but my paper isn't moving, so I'm okay. And stamp that one down. And now you have that perfect little banner going with the same amount of swag angle um, going each way. And it just looks super, super stunning. I love that. Let me bring back in the finished item. So you can see I then added it to my card front, added a little bit of washi tape on the side for a little bit of more um, black and white and texture. And then I just added that little birthday greeting. Super, super fabulous. I hope you enjoyed this little technique showcasing the Stamparatus and the Brush O Crystal Color, and I hope you try it out yourself. Of course, I'll be leaving links down below so that you can purchase these items and uh, start playing with them if you don't have them yet. And I'll be posting pictures of this on my blog, laurastamppad.com, so you can check that out there for more details on this card and more photos of it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe if you're new by clicking down here. And check out some of my other tempting techniques videos by clicking over here. I'll see you guys all next time. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.